Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Um, in today's video, we will be talking about the three movies that every um, entrepreneur must watch. I know there are a lot of movies out there on the internet and in in some of the movie platforms like Net, Netflix and Co. But as an entrepreneur, there are some specific movies that you must watch. And before before we go into that, let me tell you a, a little story about me. Uh, as everybody knows, um, my name is Nirios. Uh, Nirios Todd Maria Pe. And I am from Ghana. Some of you watching this video might, uh, might have known me, but um, I am somebody that uh, ran the company called X Maria. But most people that know me don't know I am the one operating that company because I run it uh, from the comfort of my home. Uh, I import uh, agriculture machineries and other machineries from my, my room, let me say from my bedroom. So uh, when clients call, maybe I will give the information to my guys to work on their, uh, their uh, required products, import them and uh, deliver it to them without uh, me and the client meeting one on one. So uh, that's enough of my story. Uh, uh, let's go into the uh, uh, purpose of this video. Uh, we are here to talk about the three movies. These movies are movies that will uh, that will educate and entertain you at the same time. So they are movies that, uh, as an entrepreneur, when you are watching it, you will you will get to understand that yes, there are different ways in building uh, companies. There are different ways in building business and also pursuing your career. So uh, this some of these movies. Uh, are not a real movies they are documentaries and some are just movies that they have acted from real life so and uh, first of all the first movie we will be talking about is the undercover billionaire this movie uh, have two uh, 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 two uh, two parts that i watched it has uh, the one that the original one let me say the original one because that is the first uh, uh, documentary movie that is acted on the undercover billionaire by uh, Glenn Stans. Glenn Stans is an a biz um, American businessman and when he, uh, he became rich through his lending company, many people said he, he got rich uh, because of uh, luck. Some said it's inheritance and a lot of uh, stories. So Glenn Stans want, wanted to prove to Americans that he built his wealth from scratch. He is born into poverty, so he built all his wealth. That he sold uh, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase uh, for about 20, uh, 20 billion dollars or something around, uh, around there. So people say he is because of luck. So he wanted to prove American wrong, Americans wrong to tell them that the American dream is still alive. So. Uh, he took the challenge of building a one million dollar company in just a ninety days. That is three months. So they took him to uh, Erie in Pennsylvania, something like that. Yeah, Erie in Pennsylvania, and there he 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 wasn't having a, a, a anything with him. The, the only things that he was having was his the business principle that he used in building the London company. Uh, an old truck with a cell phone and hundred dollars. These are the only things that he was having with him. He wasn't having any contacts on the cell phone, so he could call people for help. He wasn't having that. The only contact that I think he he was having when you watch the movie, uh, the movie is uh, his family, his wife. If not apart from that, he wasn't having any uh, contact. So they, they sent documentary crew with him uh, and also producers that they will follow him to see what he was doing for, uh, 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 along the way. At the end of the 90 days, he ended up building $790,000 company, almost the $1 million. But though he didn't reach the $1 million mark, but he tried. The next one on the undercover billionaire 
was also a challenge that was taken by uh, Grand Cardone after the, uh, uh, the news of uh, Glenn Stein spread through America. Grand Cardone, Grand Cardone also took the challenge that he can also build a one million dollar company in 90 days. So Grand Cardone was also taken to uh, Pueblo. So uh, and and in there he he also built a um, five five point five million dollar company at the end of the night today. So he overtook a uh, uh, Glenstein. But one thing is that Glenstein had the uh, uh, upper hand because he brought the idea and he didn't prepare anything. He just left. But Grand Cardone, uh, uh, I think he might, he might have prepared. But that is not the case. He, he, he also went and built the $1 million company, uh, more than $1 million company within 90 days. So the next movie we, uh, we will be talking about is uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit of Happiness is a movie acted by Will Smith and his son JC or uh, uh, Jaden and his son Jaden. Uh, the movie uh, uh, is a, a, in attribute to uh, Chris Gardner. Chris Gardner and his son suffered a, 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 a when they were uh, poor. They were homeless. They had no place to go. They had no place to, uh, uh, to work. So they were homeless. They had nothing to eat. And at the end of the day, uh, they had to go into the street to search for uh, uh, menial jobs and other stuff to, uh, to only to get something to eat because he was also a uh, divorce. So it was a hard time for Chris Gardner and uh, um, uh, Will Smith featuring uh, uh, acting as Chris Gardner in that movie had to uh, look for ways to survive. Then he contacted some brokerage companies and he partnered with them and later on he had to build his own company. And now, at the end of the day, Chris Gardner became a millionaire. That is Will Smith in the movie. He became a millionaire. So uh, I am uh, uh, urging every entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur to go and watch that movie. It is very uh, inspiring. Pursuit of Happiness. So um, the third movie we are going to talk about is The Founder. The Founder, we all know uh, McDonald's. Uh, some of us uh, uh, have ever heard from McDonald's. Some of us are eating from McDonald's as I speak. So we all know McDonald's. This uh, movie, The Founder, is all about the history and the story, how McDonald's started and became the McDonald's that we know today. So. Uh, uh, it is featured, uh, uh, it is featuring uh, whatever, but it is a story about uh, Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc started with selling newspapers and other stuff and he was suffering. He had a secretary that helped him or is an assistant that helped him in his uh, small company. But at the end of the day when uh, Ray Kroc head of uh, McDonald's, he had to go out on the street, search for McDonald's and other companies and at the end of the day he struck deal with McDonald's brothers, the two brothers that uh, came uh, with the idea of McDonald's. That time restaurant business wasn't that good but McDonald's brothers were striving. So when um, Ray Kroc heard of, uh, about their idea, their model and everything, he was inspired to partner with them. And at the end of the day they struck the deal with him that they had to promote the business and do other stuff in the company. So later on, uh, you know Ray Kroc, who is very inspiring, who is very motivated to do things bigger than what uh, those two brothers were dreaming to do. So their dreams were, weren't aligning. So um, Ray Kroc had to jump out and then uh, he was trying to duplicate the whole idea, but he, has his, he had his own way when he met somebody that told him that he has to focus not only on the restaurant business but also real estate. So he focused more on that and he was getting more income. So he had to duplicate the idea and later on he came back to buy the McDonald's brothers, their business. Yeah, they, 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 they weren't willing to give him the business but 
at the end of the day, uh, they had no, uh, no choice because his uh, all the documents he was having them and he was just like a full time owner of the company. So he was giving them two million dollars by back then. So they didn't take the money. And if they had taken the money, I think today. Uh, their, their royalties alone, their uh, McDonald brothers, their royalties alone would have been worth a uh, hundred million plus, hundred million dollars plus today. But they they refuse the royalties. So, and uh, but still, uh, Ray Kroc was able to or uh, uh, take the company uh, uh, away from them. So uh, people may think, yeah, it's very wicked, but that is business because the deal that they. Uh, uh, they signed with him, uh, it says McDonald's, uh, Rock was part of the company. So if you will uh, watch that movie, you will be nothing but inspired to, to build a company that will worth millions of dollars in the future. So uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, I, urge you, I urge you to go and watch some of these uh, business, uh, uh, mo business movies. They are very inspiring. They have all the details that you need to build a company. They have everything, everything from A to Z that you you need to build a company. So I urge you to go and watch them. They are very inspiring. So many businessmen in, in, in especially in Africa, don't want to go the extra, uh, 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 extra mile in uh, pursuit of their dreams. But I tell you, when some of them try to to go they ended up as failures in the future it is nothing like uh, i can do it there are people who say we can do it but i also tell you there are people who also think they can do it but they still go extra mile to try and at the end of the day they, uh, they succeed so um some people will want to watch a lot of movies on the internet concerning whatever some want information about their businesses someone other stuff but the best way is uh, as an entrepreneur if you want to educate if you want to entertain yourself most entrepreneurs they entertain themselves by also educating themselves in the process so uh, if you go to netflix as in, an entrepreneur to watch movies don't just watch any movie watch movies that will entertain you and still educate you i watch movies a lot i can watch a three hour movie uh, throughout but that is when I, I have time to entertain myself. So in the process of entertaining myself, I also try to educate myself. So it is good for uh, African entrepreneurs or wherever you are coming from uh, to go out and look for movies that will entertain you and educate you. That is better than watching movies that will not uh, educate you on the sector that you are in. So I urge you to look for these three movies to watch they will surely uh, do something beautiful in your life thank you and if you are new here please subscribe to our channel and help us grow by commenting and sharing this uh, movie it will uh, uh, video it will surely help us in the long run please thank you